Uh, this is the Optimus Dent um, L large, rather than extra large, 43 millimeters long. It's a cobalt chromium stent, and it comes in this uh, setup with a, you know, on a sort of um, hollow uh, tube. That hollow tube can be useful to get the um, stent on the balloon. You can sometimes push the balloon inside a bit, and that allows you to get over the edges of the balloon. This balloon we've already done a positive prep on, and we're just putting it on on top of the thing. This balloon is actually is a Gemini 14 millimeter, 50 millimeter, 14 millimeter diameter, 50 millimeter long um, outer balloon. And the inner balloon is a centimeter less, which would mean it's 40, if that's correct. Okay, so here you can see, if we just look, this is the, the stent. Often we put a guide wire inside here just to protect the lumen while we're crimping down. But you can see the um, the crimp is very straightforward with this, particularly when you've already done a pre-inflation on the balloon. And you can see with this uh, Gemini setup with two balloons and with a bit more bulk in the plastic, that it really is a, a decent solid um, crimp with just manual without having to use any umbilical tape or anything like that. Um, so it's worthwhile seeing um, how the deployment is. So the inner balloon has been prepped. We can just do a simple dial up and you can see it expanding there. Proximal, it went distal first and then proximal. This is it coming up in steps. There you can see the stent nice and nicely expanded there. And then as we go up with the outer balloon, you can see it doesn't uh, fishtail into the vessel wall, but goes up fairly sequentially, and we can put the pressure up in it, and the balloon manages it well with a nice deployment. Um, I think if we had different coloured uh, fluids in, you'd be able to see the inner balloon as well. Great stuff, so thank you.